Hello everyone, my name is Jan de Vries and I'm your low-code host. And here's what's new in Mendix 9.11. We've got some widget updates, some data hub improvements, but let's start with the one thing you've all been waiting for, dark mode. The most requested feature on the Idea Forum is finally here, dark mode. Creating a dark mode for Studio Pro was a huge endeavor. They have to carefully design and craft every component and screen. And as a result, we created a balanced color scheme and modernized look and feel of Studio Pro. Keep in mind, dark mode is a preview feature. That means that not all screens in Studio Pro support dark mode yet. We are working hard to expand in support of dark mode in Studio Pro in upcoming releases. You can enable dark mode by going into new features tab in the preferences window. Welcome to the dark side. We have some exciting widget news this month with updates to the rich text editor, carousel and color pickup. All three have improved configuration, new design options and features built in. We can't wait for you to try them out. Check them out today in the marketplace. The last widget update is small but powerful one, introducing the new between functionality for date filtering for data grid 2 and gallery. Where you needed two filters for date range before, you now only need one. This will save much needed screen space and improves the filter experience for users. Registered data sources can now be deleted from the Data Hub catalog. This will help keep your catalog clean and up to date with the latest sources for developers to use. Deleting data sources can only be done by company admins, Data Hub curators, and application owners. We've also improved our contract registration experience in the Data Hub catalog. When registering new OData contracts that contain errors that prevent you from using the contract in Studio Pro, we now show descriptive error messages that tell you the specific errors that need to be fixed before registration is possible. This makes resolving these errors quite a bit faster. Moving on from Data Hub to OData, for OData entities that are updatable, you can now provide a microflow to validate the proposed updates before the object is saved in the service. This allows you to add validations that are too complex for the entity validations. You can see here that you can now select which action you want to take when a changed external entity is sent to an OData API. If you want to implement your own validations, simply select Call a Microflow and select a microflow that will do the validation. This microflow illustrates how easy it is to update data in a service using external entities. Retrieve the data from the service using a normal retrieve activity, then change the objects and finally, send it back to the OData service. You can of course also make change in a form and then send it back to the service. And that brings us to the end of this What's New video. For a full list of new features, improvements, and fixes, check out the release blog on menix.com blog or read the release notes on docs.menix.com. You can download Studio Pro 9.11 at marketplace.menix.com to use all of these new features right now. If you've enjoyed this video, I hope we've earned your like and subscribe. I'm Jan de Vries, your low-code host, and I'll see you at the next release.